Hello friends, welcome to the video lessons on electronic measuring instruments. In today's class, I am going to explain about the block diagram of a CRO and the function of each block of CRO. Before we start the discussion about the present topic, let us try to recollect what all we have studied in the last class. In the last class, we discussed about what is a radio frequency signal generator, what are the various parts of radio frequency signal generator, and how a radio frequency signal generator functions then what is the importance of shielding and what are the specifications of radio frequency signal generator and what are the applications of radio frequency signal generator this we have seen in the last class now, coming to the present topic, in today's class, we will try to discuss about what is a CRO, what is the importance of CRO, what are the various blocks or various parts of CRO, and what is the function of each block of CRO. First, what is a CRO? The full form of CRO is cathode ray oscilloscope. And this is the instrument, cathode ray oscilloscope the front panel of the instrument appears to be like this and this is used to have a visual display of AC signals to have a visual display of AC signals as the name itself indicates cathode ray oscilloscope is a scope that is a measuring instrument used to observe, analyze and assess the oscillations of a cathode ray. It is a scope used to observe, analyze and assess the oscillations of a cathode ray. What is cathode ray? Cathode ray is nothing but the beam of electrons emitted from cathode. So that is a cathode ray oscilloscope. Cathode ray oscilloscope in short form is called CRO or simply oscilloscope. CRO displays voltage as a function of time. Voltage on y-axis on the screen and time on x-axis on the screen and how the alternating voltage varies as a function of time either in the sinusoidal fashion or triangular fashion or rectangular fashion or sawtooth fashion or any other zigzag fashion and you can even measure the amplitude you can measure the time period you can measure the frequency all these things can be done using a CR CRO is a very useful and versatile 
test instrument for display measurement and analysis of waveforms of electrical and electronic circuits in fact cro is a very fast xy plotter to plot an input signal versus time or an input signal versus another external signal that is on y axis the input signal is plotted with reference to time on x axis or with reference to another signal supplied externally and the stylus of the plotter basically any plotter requires a stylus or a pen to record the variations in the input to record the variations in input as a function of time so here in case of cro the stylus is a luminous spot stylus is a luminous spot that is a spot of bright light which moves over the display area that is this portion is the display area in response to an input voltage when an input voltage is applied then in response to that input voltage we can see a luminous spot like this moving across the screen just like this as a function of time that is on x axis it is time on y axis it is the signal that is applied you can see the visual display of the wave form in the form of a luminous spot or movement of luminous spot here this is the luminous spot the luminous spot is produced by a beam of electrons striking the phosphor coating of the screen making it to emit light usually of green or blue color that is when an electron beam strikes the surface of the cro screen which is coated with a material called phosphor then this material will absorb the energy from the electrons which are striking the screen and the kinetic energy is converted into light energy and that light energy is displayed on the screen of the cro that is why we get a luminous spot because of the property of phosphor material coated on the screen the electron beams are called cathode rays because they are emitted by the cathode the electron beams are called cathode rays because they are emitted by the cathode this gives the oscilloscope its full name as cathode ray oscilloscope cathode ray oscilloscope what is the importance of cro 
a cathode ray oscilloscope or simply CRO or oscilloscope is one of the extremely useful and the most versatile tool used in the sciences in the fields of science, medicine, engineering and telecommunication. These are commonly used that is CRO uh, CROs are commonly used to exact to observe the exact shape of the wave of an electrical signal AC signal in addition to the amplitude of the signal an oscilloscope can show how much is the distortion in the AC signal what is the time between two events such as pulse width time period or rise time etc and relative timing of two related signals when two signals are applied simultaneously to CRO particularly uh, dual trace CROs which have got the provision to apply two input signals simultaneously in that case how one signal is varying as a function of another signal relative timing of two related signals general purpose oscilloscopes are used for maintenance of electronic equipment maintenance of electronic equipment that is periodic testing the output of the electronic equipment is periodically tested using CRO and it can be decided whether the equipment is in uh, proper working condition or not and laboratory work maintenance of electronic equipment and laboratory work that is for general purpose CROs commonly used in electronics laboratories. Special purpose oscilloscopes may be used for such purposes as analyzing aircraft cockpit instruments. Even you can see the CRO type screens in the aircrafts also everything from ground control would be transmitted to the uh, aircraft and the screen that is installed or the oscilloscope that is installed in the aircrafts it will give the details of various uh, cockpit instruments, automotive ignition system, etc. to display the, uh, sorry, cockpit instruments and special purpose CROs also are used in automotive ignition systems or to display the waveform of heartbeat. In hospitals, you might have seen cardiac monitors. The basic principle of cardiac monitors also is uh, that of the oscilloscope. In electronics, engineering or telecommunication industry. The cathode ray oscilloscopes are used extensively for design, build and test of electronic circuits. 
there are three phases first design an electronic circuit is designed then build a test circuit is built and the output of the test circuit is given as input to the cro and if the output is producing the desired output signal according to the design then it can be sent for mass production so in electronics engineering or telecommunication industry cathode ray oscilloscopes are used extensively for design build and test of electronic circuits the engineers and technicians study the wave shapes of ac voltages and currents that is alternating voltages and currents and they can also measure the voltages and currents and even power and frequency also using cro the oscilloscope allows the user to observe the electrical signals as a function of time on its screen as a function of time on its screen the oscilloscope allows the user to observe the amplitude of electrical signals as a function of time on the screen oscilloscope allows us that is allows the user to observe the constantly varying signal usually a two dimensional graph that is in x axis and in sorry in x direction and in y direction of that is two dimensional graph of one or more electrical potential differences using the vertical y axis plotted as a function of time that is horizontal x axis time is on x axis taken as x axis although an oscilloscope displays voltage on its vertical axis any other quantity that can be converted to a voltage can be displayed as well basically cro responds to voltages just like the basic pmmc movement responds to currents here cro is a voltage sensitive device or voltage sensitive measuring instrument so although an oscilloscope displays voltage on its vertical axis <coughs> any other quantity that can be converted to a voltage can be displayed as well in most instances oscilloscopes show events that repeat with either no change or changing slowly that is an alternating signal which is varying without any uh, variations in the signal or with any variations in the signal that is during all the cycles the shape of the signal whether it is same or the shape of the signal is changing from cycle to cycle that can be observed using cro an oscilloscope 
can display and measure many electrical quantities like AC or DC voltage, time, phase relationships, frequency and wide range of waveform characteristics like rise time, fall time, overshoot, etc. Non-electrical quantities like pressure, strain, temperature, acceleration, etc. can also be measured. What to do? First, they have to be converted into voltages by using different transducers to first convert them into an equivalent voltage. So, an oscilloscope, this is the point to be kept in mind or to be understood. An oscilloscope can display and measure many electrical quantities like AC or DC voltage as a function of time and the phase relationships between two signals and it can also measure frequency of signals and wide range of waveform characteristics variety of waveform characteristics like rise time, fall time, overshoot, pulse width, pulse position, pulse amplitude, all these can be measured using CR. Apart from that, non-electrical signals also can be measured using CRO. But before applying to CRO, they are to be converted into equivalent electrical voltage. Such non-electrical signals are pressure, strain, temperature, acceleration, velocity, displacement. You go on naming any non-electrical parameter. It can be measured. Measured in the sense not only measuring the amplitude, but also it measures how that parameter is varying as a function of time. That is, whether it is remaining constant with respect to time or it is varying as a function of time. Both can be studied using a CRO. That is the main advantage with CRO when compared with other measuring instruments. In case of other measuring instruments, if it is a varying signal, you can take either average value or RMS value of the signal. But you cannot study how the signal is varying as a function of time. When it comes to CRO, it gives the clear visual display of the variations in the measured parameter as a function of time. That is the main advantage. Next, by observing the signal waveforms, the engineers or technicians can correct errors, understand mistakes in the circuit design and thus will make suitable adjustments. And thus can make suitable adjustments. The circuit symbol of an oscilloscope is as shown in figure 7. Point. This is the symbol for a CRO. 